Good morning. All right, so we looking at trees. And we're here at the Rasteria. It's actually the uh, North Carolina Welcome Center on the northbound side. So where we delivered was at the first exit past it. So as we were coming on the highway, this was available right here. Because I was trying to figure out after I delivered where am I going to go park. And this is actually perfect because I didn't have to hardly go anywhere. And worst case scenario, if I got to go back south, I mean, all I got to do is really get back on and go up one exit, get off, go over and get back on again, which is like less than a mile away. So that is perfect positioning for waiting. So we're just making up another coffee here. And we're sitting here waiting to see. We don't have a reload as of yet. I'm not sure even how it looks reload wise. If there's not much going on, then we're going to uh, go find a truck stop. There's not much around Charlotte. There's a little pilot in Charlotte. Nah, chances are I'm not going to go stay there. That's a shithole. Uh, it's just way too small. Good, good opportunity to get shit uh, busted on your truck. So, I know there's stuff south of me. There's Statesville. That's a little ways up, though. I uh, can't remember what's going west and what's going east. Uh, there's not much going east, if I remember correctly, on 85. West, I don't think there's anything for quite a ways. So, so for now, we'll sit here. It's comfortable. we got grass for Molly. There's the resteria there for the restrooms. So it's pretty good. It's a little bit narrow here. I've put myself a little further back than normal. Just if this guy decides to leave, he sh shouldn't be tearing off my front end. Say the shouldn't part. We'll be trying to keep an eye on them there. So meanwhile, we sit and we wait. Oh, the love of being a trucker. Alrighty, we're done for the day. We're at the pilot, uh, which is the old Wilco has here in Withville, Wytheville, Virginia, Withville. Exit 77. Alright, yeah, so... Talk about getting into the customer in the nick of time. They were closing at 5. I got in like 2 minutes after 5. But I'd called, talked to them, and they were waiting for me. That was a tobacco, tobacco, whatever. All on its own. I'm not going to get into it. Anyways, i got to fax off my customs paperwork. which We're going to take a little walk inside. Uh, you know I won't be ordering takeout from this place because I can't stand Arby's. So I guess I'll be cooking myself something. could always have something from DQ, though. But no. Better not. Well, twice as our DQ were chunky. That's all I got. I ate my leftovers, which I forgot to show you last night. It's, it's too good. I just kept eating. And then I remembered afterwards. So what can I, don't blame me. Don't judge me, people. Don't judge me. So anyways, we're going in. We're going to fax this crap off. And we're coming back out. And we're going to cook a dinner. Right, madam? You hungry? I know I'm hungry. Be advised. Support units are now on standby. Alrighty. Out. Welcome to Arma 3. Okay, so I want to show you guys some uh, really cool stuff here. I've got a couple new mods in. Um, I've had them for a while, and I'm just, I wanted to show them to you guys. We didn't have much for a video today. So right now, you're looking at some of the helicopters from the RHS American Forces. We have the U, uh, Russian Forces also. Another mod is the uh, Ewoks uh, HMMVs, which is the Humvees. They're pretty cool. Um, but currently, I'm going to uh, take you guys on a tour of the... Two, uh, pilot, get in that vehicle. Uh, Wilco! I forget what it's called. It's Arma 3 All-Terrain All-In or something, All-In Terrain. Um, so let's take a flight over to the other airport, which is on the other side of the map. You can see the textures are not bad in this thing. Two, move to grid zero, five, eight, one, one, four. So, that's the other thing too, guys. Uh, if you're, you know, doing single player missions and you're in control of people and you, you're not that good at flying, but it, you have to do something that involves flying or you want to set it up for flying, you can just make your guys fly for you. Um, or you can do it yourself. Open some of these doors. So that's one nice thing with this. You get the radio chatter if you're in the pilot seat or the co-pilot seat. Oh, you can see the textures aren't bad on this map. This is Pakistan. Um, with the all-terrain, all-in terrain or whatever it is. 
Uh, you do get a lot of the Army 2 mountains that are ported in for Army 3. If you take off from this base here, you got to climb ass altitude here to get over these mountains. But this is a really big map, which gives you lots of opportunity okay. for hey, gameplay and fighting. Yeah, the blowing the shit up. Again, you got to remember with this particular map, the textures are still Armour 2 textures. Although this is, in my opinion, one of the better maps. The uh, Pakistan and the Pakistan mountain one. And again, I can... Oops. I can take controls. 404, Marshall 1702, 23, Angel Data, expected push time 32, approach button 15. 404, Marshall 1. I'm flying a mix between my mouse and my keyboard. Push time 22. I'll go into free mode again in a minute here so you guys can see. You got some villages along the way. Have you heard any status of the uh, ballpark or touchdown? Receive ballpark. Copy. You can even fly from inside. You can turn your head, but it can be. If you have a joystick, it's a lot easier. Here's a couple different ways you can fly if you want to fly. But like I said, it's, it's a really awesome map. It's big. So we'll give him controls again. And here's the other airport. So you have a choice from both sides to uh, make your base from. The airfield so you can have planes that actually take off. Uh, he's going to land maybe. Where is he going to hover? Ready! Oh, he's, uh... I'm taking the controls, just so you guys know. Landing was a little rough. I'll give him the controls. It should take off again. There we go. I'll go back right into the position that I had him in. Four zero four. Anyways, like I said, it's a fairly big map. Lots of different areas to uh, go to. Two. Move to grid zero one three. Zero seven four. You have lots of desert space too. You can set up attack from. We've got oil tanks here. I believe there's even a oil field. They have some oil derricks and stuff. Those are over here. Actually, I think there are a couple of spots in this map. You can see there's lots of opportunity to do stuff. And there's just so much more equipment available. I, I know I don't have it all out to show you, but I just wanted to show you this a little bit with my helicopter. Bouncing all over the place. One seven zero twenty four. He goes nine. Put the road down thirty three. Button. Just 
just to show you the map itself. Gives lots of opportunities to set up ambushes. Anyways, I recommend you guys get the, uh, if you don't get the RHS, because the RHS is a huge, huge download for the two of them, because they're two separate downloads. Um, definitely got to get the uh, Be advised. all in train are now on standby. Out. mod. I'll put the link for it down below. Uh, also, Ewok, uh, HMMVs, the Humvees. Which are uh, really good. Two. Gunner, get in that vehicle. Understood. So, I mean, you've got the inside. This is actually a working radio if you have the uh, tactical radio. I forget which one it is. Installed. Waiting. Um, and then your dude's up there in the gun. You can get a total of five people, including yourself, in here. But he did a nice job. He put some accessories inside to make it look uh, a little bit better. Um, you got picture in picture for the mirrors, which is good. Um, you can open your doors and keep them open and use them for cover when you're outside fighting. So all four doors do open. So, I mean, you can drive it from inside if you want, if you want more realism. you can drive from outside the Humvees are an awesome awesome mod too to have there are a couple others out there there's MRAPs I don't like the MRAPs they uh, tend to slide all over the damn place so and you can build up the base you can add a lot of stuff to it to make it uh, a lot more fun to play So you can do some road missions to get there. You can see the outside, and there's a few different types where the outside's done up a little differently. Different accessories on it, uh, whatnot. But you can see the textures are not bad at all. If we go off road a bit, I think it creates some dust. Get back on the highway. These things do zip along pretty good. Oh, rock. So our gunner is scanning the terrain. Doing a good job. There is another uh, Humvee mod out there, but I don't find the details as good on them but I mean see you can see there's lots of potential to set up uh, you know set yourself up some patrols where you can go in and set up enemies you know and the houses are uh, two dismount copy that I mean you can even go into these houses So you can explore, find enemies that are inside. I do not suggest you jump off the edge, but you know, it gives you fighting advantages. And you're saying, I know, jump off, we want to see what happens. No, I don't think so. Oh, and you can go up on the roof, I think. Now, the climbing action is a little screwy. Come on, where are you? It's a little off, but, you know. So, I mean, you could have snipers sitting up top of the roofs and whatnot. Um, oh, which one is it? No, that's not the one I want. Seven. Oh, come on.
come on, why won't you let me? Make my guy go, oh, I forget how to make my guy go down. There we go. So you could have him, you know. So you could end up with a roof battle. You can see the animation is pretty good. So Okay. So Okay, we're jumping. Ah poof, we're dead. So you can see that's uh, pretty decent, pretty decent, pretty decent. So anyways, uh, guys, Arma 3, you guys gotta Support units are now on standby. get into Out. getting the mods. Uh, the mods add so much to this game. And of course you got the Huey, but I've got it set up so that it's already got a pilot in it. So we can't even go play with it, really. I can get in the back. You can lower the ramp. That's about all you can do with it. So you can get inside. And you can look. And you can open the ramp. See? Exciting, isn't it? Okay, so at any rate, we're going to set some stuff up, and I'll show you some other stuff on Arma 3 uh, of, you know, other equipment and shit like that. The tanks are, some of the new tanks are really awesome. I'll show you some of the Russian stuff. Um, the only thing with the Arma 2 maps is you can't get into a lot of the, uh, a lot of the buildings. Let's see if I can show you here if it'll stay recording. I just want to show you some of the other maps that are available. So anyways, you get the, the terrain pack and you get all these different maps. Uh, Sereni, Southern Sereni and United Sereni is a, another really good map. Shinaris, I can't even say it right. That's a decent map. Porto, eh, it's really small. Didn't like it. Ramadi didn't like it. Takistan Mountains and Takistan. You're wondering, you're asking, what's the difference? Well, Takistan Mountains... You don't have the airfields at either end. You do have uh, a couple of little small bases that you can uh, take over and inhabit. Uh, Zargabad is a, a pretty decent map. Uh, Bistrika and these two here, Bukovina, they're decent desert. I didn't like. It's really just desert. That's it. There's nothing there. So unless you want to set up some desert battles. Proving Grounds is a good place to test. There's no bases. It is a really small map. Shapur, again, desert type map, but very small. And then, of course, you got Stratus and Atlas, right? So, anyway, guys, uh, that's it. That's all. Hopefully, uh, we finished off today's vlog. And uh, we're going to throw some more of these in here over the next few days, uh, just to uh, some of you have been asking. So, uh, we might do some World of Tanks, but right now I'm uh, having too much fun with Arma 3 and. Trying to build some maps and whatnot and get the gameplay portion going on it and just setting up my own missions and stuff. So we'll show you more of that. We'll show you more of the uh, the mods itself that I've put in um, that I'm pretty sure some of you would actually that are playing the game that would really like because it really adds to the game. Anyway, that's it. That's all for today's vlog. I've carried on forever. We'll talk to you later.